I have to tell you that um, it is clearly a spiritual battle. It has nothing to do with race at all. No such thing as racism. No such thing as sexism, homophobiaism, uh, 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 Islamic phobiaism, blackism. Uh, what else kind of ism? Womanism, misogynistism doesn't exist. It's all spiritual. It's either right or wrong, good or evil. When you have anger, you do what you're supposed to do. Be unhappy, be jealous, complain, blame others, feel insecure, hate your fellow man. You have no other choice because it's in your nature. Hillary Clinton, speaking of darkness, apparently has a book out or coming out, brand new book. And as always, Hillary Clinton is blaming everybody and their mama for her failure of not becoming the president. And when you see her, I want you to see that she looked like a loser. She looked like she, she's empty. Something is missing in her life, like her soul is dead. Uh, Clinton blamed Comey, Russia, WikiLeaks, Facebook, fake news, voter ID laws, sexism, and mis misogyny for losing. And then I'm adding, she, threw, she blamed the dog, the cat, the grass, the paint on the house. She blamed everybody and their mama, except herself. Hillary tells CBS News the reason she lost the election. But even though that was the primary um, blow to my campaign at the very end, uh, it has to be looked at in context with the Russians weaponizing information, negative stories about me, this whole WikiLeaks <laughs> beginning to leak in early October of John Podesta's emails, which if you've read them all, uh, they're pretty anodyne, but they were taken out of context. The stories were made up about them. We now know Facebook was taking money from Russian companies to run negative stories about me. If, if you look at all of this, Yes, it affected me and my campaign, but I am more concerned now going forward that we haven't come to grips with what it means for future elections. I would also add that the voter suppression that we now know had <laughs> been in the works and really put into effect in a lot of states like Wisconsin, North Carolina, et cetera, played a role. And then let's not forget sexism and misogyny, which are endemic to our society, and endemic. certainly as I write in my chapter called On Being a Woman in Politics, um, have to be factored in as well. Why not just throw in the cat and the dog? By the way, that old dog did it. <laughs> Donald Trump should lock her up. <laughs> lock her up. She thinks she got problems. What a lying, wicked woman.